Hello folks, uh, today I've got a Dodge small block distributor. This was very kindly donated to me by Wrecking Car 72. Uh, if anybody knows him, they know how, I don't know what's the word I want to use, he holds on to his Dodge parts so when he donates them, uh, What's the word I want to say? When he donates them, uh, he usually does it for a good reason. And uh, I know it was a while ago, John, but I thank you. And what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you a couple things. When I got this, one of the clips fell out. You'll see right here, there's a bracket. There's a bracket here. Let's see if I can adjust the camera. Over here, I have a piece of bailing wire holding this hole. Now the reason I have it doing this is one, there's a clip right on the underside of this that uh, came loose. So this plate was rattling around in here allowing the uh, pickup coil which I have loosened up for adjustment to bounce off of the reluctor. It resulted in a little bit of wear I don't know if I don't know if you can see it on the reluctor there. It did a little bit of damage while it was in the engine running, but not too much. And uh, since my plans do not include uh, using a vacuum advance on this, I've uh, hooked it in a stationary position so that this plate is pretty much tight. Now all I got to do is adjust the gap on this reluctor. Now. Hmm. Houston, we have a problem. Uh, that's a little bit close. You don't want it to rub it. And again, I will repeat myself. Usually you're going to use a set of feeler gauges or the proper gauge to put the proper gap on this. But since what I'm doing is not proper intensive, and this is just demonstration purposes, I'm going to do it by eye and uh, we've got good clearance here. Now the next part you may ask yourself is this pickup coil any good? I don't know. Actually I do know because I tested it before but I'm going to show you. On most of these older distributors you got two wires that come out and these two wires go on and go into your ignition module. They take the place of your breaker points. It sends a pulse, a make and a break and signal to the electronic module. So what I got here is I got a cheap Harbor Freight uh, continuity electric meter and whenever you have a dead short and you have it on the right setting it beeps. So what I'm going to do here and that's all we need we just need to make sure it beeps just like that. We're going to take this wiring harness we're going to put one probe and that side, one probe in this other side and hold it there and then all we're going to do is reach over here and spin the distributor and I want you to listen if you hear that clicking noise that's the meter and the only thing as you can see sometimes it stops you have to make sure you got a good connection in here Normally what I would do is I would get an extra wiring harness for this, plug it in, and make sure I have a tight connection using alligator clips. But as you spin it, and either way you can hear it clicking. Now some of these reluctor teeth are worn because this coil was loose and smacking the reluctor. But uh, I'm sure you should get the point on this one. Probably not the professional way to, you know, check your pickup coil but it's a start if you're getting no spark and everything checks out okay check your reluctor coil check the reluctor make sure it's on there solid and make sure the meter which I have no connection okay there we go make sure that it's working well just like that it's a point to start